Remember, when we're first learning a major scale, we always want to know the key signature the scale is in. The F sharp scale is in the key of F sharp, which means that we have six sharps in the key signature. Look at the key signature on your screen. Which notes will we play to sharps? If you said six sharps, F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, D sharp, A sharp, and E sharp, you're correct. Now, let's learn the other notes in the scale. Anytime we're learning a major scale, the first note will always be the name of the scale. So the first note in the F sharp major scale will be F sharp. To find the other notes in the scale, we will just move through the musical alphabet, but remember, the musical alphabet resets after G. So after F sharp, the next note will be G sharp, then A sharp, B natural, C sharp, D sharp, E sharp, and F sharp. Notice all of the notes are sharp except for B, because those notes will be sharp in the key signature. Now let's play each of these notes. The low F sharp is played with all three keys in the left hand and the middle key in the right hand. The next note is G sharp. We play this note with the three keys in the left hand and the left hand G sharp pinky key. For the next note, A sharp, which is another spelling for the same note as B flat, we press down the top two keys in our left hand along with the side B flat or A sharp key with our right pointer finger. Next is B natural, which is played with the top key in the left hand. After B natural, we play C sharp, which is no fingers down, but we want to make sure the fingers are still touching the keys. Next is D sharp, which is a different spelling for E flat, which we play with the octave key, all three keys in the left hand, all three keys in the right hand, and the top right hand pinky key. Now we play E sharp, which is a different spelling for the same note as F. For E sharp, we use the octave key, three keys in our left hand, the top key in our right hand. And the last note of the F sharp major scale is middle F sharp. It has the same fingering as low F sharp, but now we add the octave key. Now let's play all the notes together, up and down in whole notes. We can also add the ninth to the scale, which is the same as the second note of the scale, just placed an octave higher. In our F sharp major scale, the ninth would be a high G sharp, which is played the same fingering as our low G sharp, but with the octave key added. Here's how the F sharp major scale sounds with the added ninth. Another name for the F sharp major scale is the G flat major scale. Sometimes in music, a note sounds the same but is spelled differently, just like the word two is spelled three different ways. Here are all of the notes in the G flat major scale. G flat, A flat, B flat, C flat, D flat, E flat, F, and G flat. Now notice how we have six flats in the key signature. Even though the notes are spelled differently, they will sound the same and have the same fingerings of the F sharp major scale. Jazz Empowers is a nonprofit organization that starts and develops jazz programs in K through 12 public schools. 
and help support more video lessons and our programs, you can donate at jazzandpowers.org. Also, make sure to like this video and hit the button on the screen to subscribe to our channel.